Hi guys, what is up? Um, I'm gonna try and make this video just short, brief, and sweet. I don't want to talk too much and confuse you guys. Uh, first things first, uh, free room removal is in about five, six days time. So if you clicked on this video to watch because of the title of the video, I would suggest you save the video and come back and watch it in a week's time. Watch it again, watch it twice. <laughs> or jump in my discord which the link is down in the description jump in my discord i have a new channel on my discord or you can always just tag me anytime and i'll give you the monster builds that i have for my monsters okay these are my builds and how i use them um but i have a channel where i'm started posting builds of my monsters in there so feel free to jump on discord and give me a tag if it's the monster that you're looking for is not in that channel or you want to see it and i don't care i can show you my runes are my runes whatever um but yeah, so that's that. Or just rewatch this again on free room removal. But he is my round one and round two siege runes. Okay, so offenses and defenses. And um, we didn't make it to round three. So GG to Wagged Rizzles. They're right here. They're playing Cardiac Union in round three. So good luck to them. So we played round one, round two. And these are my speed. I mean, not my speed, my runes for round one and two. First thing I want to explain is just quick brief on speed ticks and what they are, if you don't know already, and what is around the speed ticks, okay? So let me explain to you what a speed tick is. Your monster has a speed gauge, right? Above it's like health, it has a speed gauge. Every time it reaches 100, you have a turn. If it goes over 100, then you move next like for example if it's your turn and the other monster is on 100 attack bar it moves next okay if it's past 100 it still moves next so like for example if leo is on the field leo always takes first turn but the monster with the highest attack gauge moves after him so if you got a bastard with no wheel leo hits the bastard pushes the attack bar back down then the next monster with the highest attack bar moves puts puts bastard actually below 100 percent attacks uh, attack bar so if you have will on Bastard and he hits Bastard, he doesn't push her attack bar back down which is leo's passive which is a hundred a hundred attack bar or a hundred speed it pushes it doesn't push it back so Bastard, being the fastest monster on swift will takes the next turn so for example like tom away here on her skill 2 karma after using skill 2 you get 100 percent attack bar but doesn't mean tom away moves next whoever has the highest over 100 to 100 and over moves next so tom away can move last on your team because she's moved last in your team and all your team has had their attack bars back after 100 back to zero then it she then your enemy has over 100 percent attack bar because they attack bar gauge increases every time someone takes a turn right and depending on how fast you are that's how much it increases so by Tomoe using Karma with skill 2, you get 100% attack bar, but it doesn't mean she's moving next. And that's why sometimes she won't move because your enemy has over 100% attack attack bar and it moves, then Tomoe moves after, okay? Because that's how it works. So the optimal build, for example, the optimal build for ticks, for example, Lulu, right? Let's look at a 100 base speed, 99. Lulu's tick six is 125 speed so if you build her plus 125 every certain amount of turns she gets an extra turn because her attack gauge increases a little bit more and once it increases more overfills and then it starts again and etc and then in the long run you actually you get another turn so the most optimal build for lulu is plus 125 so if you don't have swgt or your guild doesn't have it and you don't know what speed ticks are and what to aim for plus 125 okay so just keep that in mind any monster with 99 speed on 100 speed is plus 125 okay and then for the next speed tick which is the one after is from 125 to 171 i think which is speed tick 5 which is my fear right so this guy is really fast because in, a, in the long run, he will eventually get an extra turn. Okay, not from violent, but because his attack bar gauge has increased over 100 quicker than the enemy opponent. If your enemy has 50 speed and you go in with 172, you're just going to take turns because you're faster than him. Your attack bar, attack bar gauge increases faster. Okay, so remember that 
if you want a speed tick six it's 125 speed tick five which is the next one which is most people in the tournament use for defenses and these are like end game players that have really good runes i i don't have really good runes because i couldn't make my mail on that speed tick so i had to go back down <laughs> but my theo was 171 to make it on speed tick five and that's speed ticks and attack gauge is just overall in the long run your attack gauge feels faster and the faster it feels the more turns you have and if you're faster than the enemy you're just having more turns that's all it is so if you're building your lulu 124 you're missing out on the potential extra turn and then you're getting overlapped by a theo with this speed right so yeah 100 speed 125 and 100 speed 171 speed tick 6 and speed tick 5 if you want to know the other speed ticks which is either slower than 125 jump on discord give me a tag and that's that all right Whew. put that off my chest now let's go have a look before we look into my runes i do want to point out i do want to point out that i'm very low mana and round one and two destroyed my mana so some things have been changed and some things aren't there but i will show you what they were and how I was playing it and um yeah all right so let's go so the thing what I was doing with like Lulu Aliyah Riley Delphoi I used like a similar set because I made this over 125 and it's also high res as well I can just grab it and then go and throw it on my Riley Puts it on my rally on 100. Don't waste mana. <laughs> Don't waste mana. So it puts my rally on 100% res. It puts her on that 125 speed tick because her base speed is lower. She needs to be over 125. So 126, 127, or whatever it is. I think it's probably 129 for her. And then it covers me for that. All right. So there, I can just grab those runes and drop them on Aaliyah. Violent Will, 100% res the right speed tick etc right so i hope that makes sense that's what i was doing so let's get into it so lulu we had lulu's runes were most of the times i used lulu was this and then damage taken from wind damage taken from wind it's either death 21 or the 21 hp it was one of those two depending which one was being used on defense and which one was on which monster that i didn't want to save uh save mana a little bit right and then her other artifact skill one recovery and skill three recovery <sighs> so don't forget guys you can jump on my discord and ask me um i did make a new roid build I was using tessa's rune which is a crit damage hp speed crit damage hp roid runes before but I did end up using a new set for Royd's runes for round two, which was I was actually very happy with. And again, I hit that speed tick on six. And then I've gone speed, HP, HP. And then I've gone crit rate subs in case he does crit. But I do like this build. And this is also a similar build you would give to a Vigo if you wanted to. I did use Vigo and I did lose. But also that's that. And then because I was fighting Ayunus... I was going damage taken from wind damage taken from wind okay i used attack for here because i wanted him to have some attack but you can use hp but damage taken from wind and skill one crit damage for roid because he only has one skill skill two and three are passives okay but skill one crit damage because i want to deal that damage would skill one uh skill two and three crit damage work on him i don't know if anyone knows that answer you can write it down in chat I did use Blushin one time. This was my Blushin that actually lost when the bomb went off on the Light Kung Fu Girl, and that was his attack. Alright, so this Wusa is on defense. Alright, and it was a Wusa Odin Kinky defense, and he's on minus wind because of Tiana Cleaves, and he's on Nemesis and on speed tick 5 in case. In case Tiana cleaved him and it didn't push back his attack bar, he would Nemesis trigger in. And also he's on the next speed tick, which is the faster than the 125. And then Odin was also minus wind and Kinky was also minus wind, but it didn't trap anyone. But that's that. 
That's my Wusa. Did not use this for offense. But I do have a Wusa that I used for offense, which was a Swift Wusa. Okay, just straight Swift. Full HP, HP there, HP there, HP there. And then I went, depending on the defense that I was hitting, most times it would be Wind or Light, like Nasha. I would go damage taken from Winds or damage taken from Light on him because we know who the damage dealer was, right? So whoever the threat is to kill Wusa is the artifact that I put in there. And then with the um, second artifact I put was skill 2 recovery because his skill 2 actually recovers. Okay, so skill 2 recovery or you can go speed to lost HP. That was my Wusa. This Theo was on defense. Uh, again, he was on speed tick 5. And he was with Molly. And Molly was also speed tick 5. But also... Uh, was with... The first round was with Rakan. I had lower crit because I had crit lead for Theo. But second round we had Merlong lead. So I had to increase his crit and still keep him at speed tick 5. But 86... 85%... 86%? No, 85% crit rate is enough for Theo because he's an elemental advantage to all elements, all right? So if you have 85% crit, it crits on all elements. If you have him on crit leads, which is his leader skill, you can have him a little bit lower, which is, how much is that? 24? 24. So you can minus 24 from there, which is 62. All right. So that's that. We got, this galleon was the Christina. Galleon, Chloe, and Christina offense, which I used in round one, and I could have used in round two for the Merlong defenses, which I didn't want to take the risk because we, I was doing all right with the Merlong, uh, Dominic defenses, but we had Galleon. Galleon doesn't need to be fast. He just needs to move before Christina. And then Chloe just to move first. You're going to move first because Galleon's got the speed lead. Chloe cuts in. She goes with invincibility so she's just swift will in case just in case just swift will or you can be swift anything as long as you know you are fast enough to take first turn to put that invincibility up immunity up and then the enemy has turns as long as it's not a merlong on the defense if it's dominic molly theo the only person that's going to strip you is the molly skill one and you got to be very unlucky to strip a christina and uh, yeah all right so galleon I like to have my Galleon on double shield wheel and to take his and also arena Galleon. And I have him on skill through crit damage, skill through accuracy, but I think he's max accuracy. Yeah. He, and I like him on 100% crit rate because his skill 2 actually does some good damage. Because after you use skill 3, you want to use skill 2 and if it crits, it does some good damage. And then we have the Chloe moving first and then we've got Christina just on Rage Blade because we need it on 100% crit. Rage Blades. Okay, skill for crit damage over here. And then additional damage to attack. Okay, because we have our own high attack. That's about it um, for that one. And then we have my Tiana Galleon Poseidon comp. Okay, same thing with my Galleon Poseidon, uh, Tiana Poseidon comp. Is we used Tiana Poseidon first round, then Tiana Chung Pung second round. And all I did was move Chung Pung runes to Poseidon and Poseidon runes to Changpang. So the same set worked, okay? Because similar speed Poseidon and Changpang have, all right? So we have Galleon, we have Tiana that moves first. Uh, Tiana's always built on speed, crit damage, attack, okay? Because her skill two crits no matter what. You want attack on slot six and you want crit damage on slot four. You don't need crit rate, okay? You do not need crit rate and you want her to move first. So this is my Tiana, and then you want artifact skill to crit damage. And uh, damage dealt on. So if you're hitting like a Wusa, you want damage dealt on water or kinky, damage that on light, because her skill two will always crit kinkies. Galleon, same thing, skill two crit damage. And uh, additional damage by attack, just for that, an attack up effect for that skill two damage. And then we had, we had my Changpang. Where are you, my friends? Can you guys see Changpang? Where are you? Where is he? Is he out of the box? Changpang, 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 Changpang. No, no Changpang. I think he's in here. Is he not? Where is he? 
Bro, where's Chang Pung? Am I blind? Bro, I said I want this video to be short. Chang Pung. Bro, where is this guy? Alright, there he is. So, these are the runes that I had for my Chang Pung, which is also the same runes for Poseidon, which is speed. Crit damage and attack is just Rage Blade, so 100% crit for Poseidon. It's actually max accuracy for Poseidon with his artifact and uh, um, accuracy awakening, but not for Chang Pang. This I used in round two. It's just speed tune because they're similar base. Tiana moves, Galleon moves, Chang Pang moves, or Poseidon moves, or like this. All right. So he's got the accuracy awakening, and then you go. Skill 3 accuracy to make it 85 and then additional damage by speed or attack or whatever. Attack increasing effect or whatever. But that's great because that pushes the attack bar down. And also that's the same thing. That does really good damage. Okay. Oh, we use my tractor. Um, I think. I'm not sure if this guy was actually on speed tick 6. But it's double destroy revenge, so revenge rune. Usually I just find the rune that it's missing. So it's just revenge rune. Oh, there we go. There it is. Ah, actually, that does put him on the next speed tick. That is That puts him on the next speed tick. We'll get to Cha Cha and friends soon. But yeah, that does put him on the next speed tick. And it's just HP, defense, defense, additional damage, additional damage to defense. Okay? And also on this side, I mean attribute additional damage to defense as well all right we used it one time my melong on defense sadly i couldn't put him on speed tick five i was actually one speed short and i was impossible to get one speed short and it was impossible to get um speed yes speed even though he's slow hp hp but then i got a lot of hp subs i got hp sub there hp there but very slow sub uh subs okay that's my Molong and his additional damage to HP, both artifacts, because he's going to deal damage with HP. We used my Bolvac when I was tilted in round two for the last sword. And I think 121 is his speed tick for six, because he's got a high base speed, right? I believe so. And that's him. He's on 100% res. He's just speed hp hp and shield and will and the reason for that is it gives himself a stack with the shield and will put double shield so you can take a couple of hits at the beginning oh then we used um we used who did we use melon with lulu and um Bova. and then we got oh we got i've already posted this on my discord if you actually want to see it and shout out to nia for coming up with the offense we have we have this offense that we um, we used in round two, which was pretty amazing. Uh, Shizuka and Kali were both on Swift. The runes for her are Tiana runes, crit damage here, attack there, and then Chun Li rune here with a high crit rate and another speed. She moves first, Kali, puts invincibility up. This is my Shizuka runes. And the reason she's on shield is because it gives, when she uses this, all things in nature, it actually gives you five buffs. And then it just makes Molly very unlikely to strip the invincibility from Kata because Kata has five buffs. Okay. Invincibility, a shield, a wheel, attack, buff, and etc. Alright. So yeah, and this was my Kata. Uh, damage dealt on light because we were hitting Molly first. Yes, these runes are very old. <laughs> and skill three crit damage, okay? But yeah, that was my Kata. That was my Shizuka. She moves first. I mean, Kali moves first, Shizuka moves second, both on Swift, and then the Kata. Alright, alright. What else do we have? Ah, uh, Manana. <laughs> I used the Violet Lana in round one, and then this is my second Nana. I didn't use, or did I use her? But yeah, she's on triple HP. I usually used her to tank Dominic. Usually use the tank Dominic, and I think that also puts her in speed tick five. I can't remember 100%. But yeah, just very fast. 
triple HP, tank dominate, damage taken from wins when need to. Okay. And then I had to try. Aliyah, I used the same runes as Lulu and Wiley, which I showed you before. Kali, I just showed you. Chloe, I've shown you. Tessa, I did change from round one to round two. The reason I changed Tessa is because I gave her better stats and I fixed Riley to move before her because in round one, it didn't move before her. So 100 speed, 125, speed tick six, okay? So that's optimal for her. You want her on speed, crit damage, HP. You can go attack if there's no threat to kill Tessa, but if there is like a Baba or a Perna or something that can one-shot, even a Marsha can one-shot her. But if there's no threat to kill Tessa, you can go attack here, but I do have her on HP because she does have a passive of damage reduction. And then you can put the damage reduction of the unit that she's fighting. I just have a universal one here from fire, wind, and water. But you can go damage taken from fire, which is the Perna. And she can take a hit or two from Perna on big stats, okay? So this is my Tessa. And I did change it. She used to be 96 crit rate on round one. And I changed it to 100% crit rate for round two because I didn't want to take any chances. And that's where all my mana went. And then I got skill three accuracy because her passive is that lands oblivion and i wanted that accuracy to be there okay and because I, I did rely on the oblivion so i used the same set on her i did have a set of destroy on this this one where i could move from here to there and then just fill that one gap uh i think his runes did i even use this guy i can't remember if i used this guy but i think his runes are i can't remember who has his runes i think kakana no <sighs> I did remember them, but it was one of these units, which was, I think, speed and HP. I can't remember. But yeah, I don't think I used him, and he's all just all additional damage because of skill one. I used Kakana, Esha, and Faye in round one as defense, but the thing is, I had to change runes because we didn't use it in round two. So I had a Swift Esha, and then I had Speed Tuned, Kakano. I had speed shoot Kakana to move to attack by uh, Esha's attack by increase, which never did with this AI. <laughs> but with speed, crit rate, attack, and then I had faster runes on these slots here to make him much more faster and speed tune to um, Esha's attack bar boost. So, but I did have Kakana moving before Faye. And uh, Faye is also broken now because we didn't use a round two and I used the runes elsewhere. There we go. I had on triple, uh, double revenge will. I had on double, double revenge will. And she was speed tuned. These were two will runes that made her speed tuned to Esha's attack by increase. I can't remember exactly what it was, but that was from round one. I used this guy and I lost with him. So forget about this guy. We did use my mama. And I think we lost with it, right? <laughs> That's why I was too scared to use it on round two. And then we got Momo on the speed tick uh, six. Attack, 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 triple attack. Triple attack, good HP, but I usually use that with Nana or Riley to give her an extra life, but she can kill a Molly with skill three. If you get those orbs up, she can kill a Molly, even with that attack buff most, most times. Manora on defense, she was with Negon and Dominic, which we'll get to. Uh, speed, despair, shield. Okay, and triple defense. And she's on speed tick 5, so the next speed tick. But she was on defense, that's why I had to invest really good runes on her. Uh, damage taken from water. And skill 3 accuracy. Skill 2 accuracy, actually. Okay. Because her skill 2. Strips. She's really good. She's really good. Roids. Oh, this is a long video. Roids. I used for round 2 with a new set. I used to use Tessa runes on him. Which was speed crit damage attack i mean hp speed crit damage hp but i changed him to round two and i like this new build much better which is speed hp hp and crit rate subs crit rate subs okay and we've got skill one crit damage and then we got damage taken from wind because usually when i used him it was on reverse ayunu of yeah it was usually against ayunu and it was damage taken from wind, so he could survive. Even though he's triple HP, oh, he's not triple HP, but he's on that speed tick. So Delphoi, I used the same runes as Riley onto Delphoi. And then we got that Kara, and then we had the Leo, Helena, which I didn't use. This is my Tiana. 
Uh, speed, crit damage, attack. I think we spoke about them not long ago. Yeah, you want Tiana on skill 2, crit damage. I should always crit on skill 2. Um, I can't say that name. Chi chilled? <laughs> no, I can't say that. I used Tessa runes on her. And then I put damage taken from wind. I did use her on round 2. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out. But I did use her. Um, we have a Swift Windy, which his runes are broken right now. But usually, um, Swift Windy is to counter Orion's. You put a Swift and a Shield set, and because his skill 2 gives um, speed buff, crit buff, it just and then you pair him up with Lulu, then you got immunity, and it just gives you so much buffs that Orion can't strip all the buffs, which is immunity, shield, shield from his passive, and then you got the crit buff and the speed buff. So it puts him on five buffs. This is my other uh, Windy that I used actually in round two, which is double revenge. Oh no, double, double revenge destroy. Also reaching that speed tick. Damage taken from whoever the damage dealer is could be Fade, Dark Unit, or could be Our Unit, or whatever. And then, um, yeah, he's on additional damage speed up. I think I can't remember. I improved my Fang. I took him off Destroy. We used him in round two, but I just went triple defense. I don't think you have to worry too much about Fang speed tick because he gets attack buff every time he's touched. And then I just went additional damage. Additional damage by defense, 24%. And he was hitting really hard. And you pair him up with the defense buffer like Aliyah. He was hitting really hard. He was hitting Molly for like 6k per hit. He was hitting Molly for 6k per, per hit. But the problem was he never landed accurate uh, defense break. We used the Triana. We should have used the crit damage Triana with that. Wind Mermaid one, but we didn't. But this is my Triana. Damage taken from Winds or oh, Fire if you're using it against Karkana. Can't remember what I used it against. That's that. Louise, I use a Swift Wusa and a Violent Louise, or you can use a Swift Louise and a Violent Lulu or whatever. But I do use Louise with Double Condom Team. So Wusa moves first, puts shield up, and then I got Louise here. She can cleanse with skill 2, and she has shield and immunity with skill 3. This is like my full extra double save team. I think 121 reaches the speed tick. I think so, unless I moved it. But yeah, that's her. She can take a hit from Perna. Alright, she can take a good hit from Perna and Masha, and then skill 3 recovery, because she heals from skill 3. I don't think these Druid ones, I think in round 1. There's a rune here and somewhere else. Oh, well, that's that. And then damage taken from whoever the unit is, usually fire. No big deal there. We have the... We have the Tressa Skurgle. <coughs> Excuse me. Dry for an Icarus offense. This one is double shield will offense. It doesn't have to be very fast. You just want your rocks to go up first. So I have two more will and a shield set on him that go in here. You throw rock with skill 2, and you still have will because you have double will. And then again, same thing with this guy. You throw you throw his rock. He's got a lot of HP. It doesn't have to be that fast. And you can get additional damage by HP if you want. But it's only a single target hit, but it still makes a difference if you want. But um, also throws his rock up. He's got will up. Icarus uses skill 2. And then... Skurgle Rock drops, Tressa's Rock drops, and then Ikaras goes with skill 3 and finishes. Yeah. Finishes usually the last unit alive, which is probably a Molly in most cases. But yeah, even if our unit is killed with the first rock or second rock, it comes back and attacks you, but you have will on. Because you had double will. Odin is on defense, but I did have a different rune for him over here. I believe it was Alicia rune, so it was a little bit faster. It was Odin. We were saying Kinky and it wasn't turn one offense and it was minus wind from him because I wanted to trap Tiana's. Kinky was also minus wind. We showed Christina, we showed Chang Pang. We didn't use a Murma. Riley, I've shown you. This is my Dominic. Okay, Dominic for siege defense, preferably destroy, especially if he's with Molly or Thea. Destroy, but be careful you don't get one shot, okay? By Katrina or Tiana. But yeah, this is my Dominic. Attack, HP, HP reaches the speed tick. And then damage taken from wind in case it's a Tiana cleave. 
and then additional damage by attack okay so i got a lot of additional damage by attack and damage taken from winds because he is a beautiful unit he can just go for anything i think with her i used lulu runes i did these are just holding place notes Esha was on swift this my Negon that was on defense reaches that speed tick 100% res in case it doesn't get cleaved i don't think anyone will try cleaving speed loss to hp 101% so i got both artifacts so he can have a turn when he loses hp all right then we had a friend that we might have used might have not used we did use elsha but i did just throw someone's runes on her i can't remember who it was and then we have lauren i don't think i used and then we got my molly she was on speed tick five for defense i try to have her as much resistance as possible in case she try to get tiana cleave or poseidon cleave and yeah, speed loss to HP again, 81%. And then we have Chun-Li, Jemaya, Amunculus team, I think we used. This is my Chun-Li. Okay, this is my Chun-Li. This is my Jemaya, which I've actually taken one of his will runes off. Oh, where did I put it? But he's on 100% crit, so it will be something with 20% crit rate. I've been changing a few runes because there's so much guild content. 20% uh, crit. I think might have been this. Might have been that. And then we had Homunculus. So the speed lead from Jemaya, the Homunculus. Jemaya moves first. You want damage with the skill one. And then you got. The homunculus that moves second, you buff up Chun Li. Chun Li does a turn. Jemaya takes another turn, recess. Homunculus buffs herself and then gives the second turn to Chun Li. Chun Li has speed buff, attack buff. If you want to see this, just jump on Discord, give me a tag. This is my Kinky that was on defense as well. The reason he has a shield set on is because it was Wusa, Odin, Kinky, and a shield set would help Odin stack up. We also have damage taken from Wind because he was on defense. And that's that all right and then the last one we actually she actually saved us in round two we used it twice with roid against those ayunus and vigor defense and it was a light unit light kung fu deal all right she doesn't need to be fast because her skill three you want it to stay as long as possible when you land it you want accuracy but you also want 100 percent resistance okay you want to land that skill three but She's got a good kit. Every time she gets hit, creates a shield. This, you put it on the light unit. Does Oh, you can put it on our unit and deals less damage. And then that's that. But you don't want... Because you land this. Okay, you land this and it stays on the monster. So you, if she's slow, it stays on them longer, I believe so. That's that. That's that. Did I miss anything? If I did, like I said, jump on Discord. I've got a new channel where I'll post my runes of my monsters as we go along. If something's missing, give me a tag and I'll post it. All you got to do to search that monster name in the search of the channel will come. If you write Royd, you'll see Royd. If you write Lulu, you'll see Lulu. If you write Katrina, Shizuka, Kali, you'll see it. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Oh my God, it was so long. I didn't expect it to be this long. I try to be brief and simple and quick, but it is what it is i hope you guys enjoy it and if you do like it i will make it again next time all right thanks for watching yalla bye